Haven't we just made the case for ranked choice voting and the yes. top four? If you had this primary system, Michael Steele, then mm -hmm. all of these shenanigans would have a much more limited impact because the real point, you know, say what you will about the Democrats re-registering in Wyoming. Hey, why, Wyoming, whether you're a Democrat, if you're not a Republican, don't you want to know, don't you want to have a say in who represents you in Congress if you're in a ruby red state? Going to a different primary system might actually accidentally clean up the dirty tricks. Is exactly right, and it's what we see happening in Utah with Evan McMullen, where he got the Democrats to stand down running someone against the Republic, running someone in the uh, upcoming election, and back him. So, Chuck, you just made my yeah. point. Ultimately, when I was state, <laughs> when I was national chairman, I, I floated this <laughs> idea of of kind of tinkering with the primaries and kind of doing away with some of it and got my head taken off for it. But you're exactly yeah. right. Yes, I'm sure it is the space we're leading yeah. into. Ranked choice voting, final five voting, everyone in the pool, top five go to the general. It changes the nature of the game. Yep. Let's get rid of this primary system, which it only plays to the hardened edges of both parties. Mm -hmm. Most voters check out. They don't participate. As we know, you can look at the percentages yeah. of, of total vote cast. So I agree with you, Chuck. And, and again, I just want to, for the record, saying I don't agree with this policy or approach that the Democrats have taken. Yep. Uh, I get it. I see it. It's just the chairman's side of my brain said, yeah, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.